put a heavy gel to make it really smooth here in the water and you can kind of feel the waves of the shore. I wanted to make my art accessible to people like me. 28-year-old artist Richard Harlow holds his face close to the canvas as he applies strokes of blue paint to his newest piece of tactile art. What I did was actually try and incorporate 3D aspects which are kind of more sculptural into my paintings. For instance, in, in my um, Syrian painting that I did, I have rubble that was used in the painting and I got pieces of, of, of broken ceramics and adhered them to the canvas for the rubble. And I got sand from the beach to be able to like add that into the painting itself, into the paint. And so when a person with vision impairment actually runs their hands over the painting, they can get all the same sort of, I guess, aspects of the painting, but just from a tactile sense. A genetic disease that affects the optic nerve robbed Richard of most of his eyesight over nine years ago. He has had to adjust his way of life, alter education and career paths, and learn new methods to paint, which has led to a new kind of painting. I was diagnosed with uh, Lieber's optic hereditary neuropathy. So now I have lost all my central vision and I see using only the little bit of peripheral vision that I still have left. The way that I kind of do it is like, I have to like, like not look directly at the spot that I'm trying to paint. Mm -hmm. uh, my best field of vision is actually like the bottom left. So if I'm like staring up here, I'm actually working on something down here. <laughs> it was so difficult for me to just pick up a brush and and even think about doing painting again. I didn't do painting for several years, nearly uh, six years after I lost my sight. Now I'm back into it. I like advertising my art as accessible art um, because it's tactile for people with vision impairment. But whenever people are in an art gallery, there's always those signs that say, please do not touch the art. Well, if they, I ever have my own art gallery showing, I encourage people to touch my art if they have clean hands, of course. As an artist myself, I just I think that's amazing and I'm so thrilled that he's found that way to present his work. Just the ways that he's um, found accommodations to, to look at the art and to draw by using his iPhone to be able to zoom in and look at particular aspects of what he wants to draw and then using the color and the texture. Just in the water, there's probably nearly seven layers of paint and in the sky there's so many layers as well. Richard's desire to enrich experiences for people with disabilities goes beyond his paintings. The frustrating thing right now is there's so many people with, dis with disabilities that are either unemployed or underemployed. A person with a disability is just as able to work like anyone else, is just as capable as anyone else, and if you give a person with a disability a chance, they will impress the heck out of you. Richard started the Disability Awareness Club on campus several years ago, and with that he was part of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And he's also been integral in changing the icon for the parking spaces for handicapped parking. Well, the accessible icon shows uh, movement, it shows strength. Um, shows that the person is actually overcoming their mobility disability. The focus is on the person instead of the tool, which is the wheelchair. Because I'm a blind person, I don't like being known as Richard, that blind guy with the white cane. I'm Richard, the blind guy with the white cane, but also the artist, the guy who does Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the, the guy that does activism in the community, the guy that volunteers, that's taking psychology and visual arts at VIU. There, it's just one aspect to who I am. It was definitely a big change for Richard, but he's, I feel like he's embraced it and he's found a way to make this become a positive for him. And he does definitely work to change and make changes for people with disabilities and um, find ways to bring people out and look at their strengths within their disabilities. Disability is only one aspect of who they are. And in society, it's more focused on the disability, unfortunately. I just want to be able to change people's perceptions of how disabled people are, are seen. And so that may help change employment opportunities and education. 
I just want to help improve the lives of other people with disabilities.